Alrighty then. <laughs> I gotta keep my my victory, apparently. Someone's close to beating me in the competition. Or at least overtaking my current score. Can't let can't take any L's. Now I'm gonna win this. Gonna bring it home for all the forgotten shiny hunters out there. Which is just gonna me. Do, 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 do. This town's got such good music. Oh, these surfing. I, I don't know if it's a surfing or a town, honestly. And now it's freaking raining. So, like, so much for that being nice. I didn't even know it could rain on this route. What is Good Rod? Good Rod is the um, one in between the uh, Super and. Uh, oh my god. There we go. The DS is actually in a really uncomfortable position. I'm gonna fix that in just a second. We got a horsey first try. Horsey is the big catch for today. It's worth three points, I believe. It might be worth two today. I don't know because I'm pretty sure Horsey's a little bit more common than Sharpedo. So let me just. I know, like, ooh, wait, oof. Just trying to get the, the camera to be in a better position that way you all can see the screen and. currently watching two streams. <laughs> I'm currently trying to even make sure my stream's even set up. Did he get a Sharpedo? No, I ended up just saying, you know what, screw it. I found two Gyaradoses, I wasn't gonna go and try to find a third. Or, not try, but I didn't want, I didn't want to get a third. Alright, this looks good. Ish, I don't know. Maybe it's a little too close. I hope you all don't mind. Fun fact, Clauncher was actually the first shiny I got in Gen 6. Wow, I got back-to-back -back horsies. That's probably never gonna happen again. <laughs> but yeah. Multitasking, I call it. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere near as live as I was yesterday. I feel like the only reason I was going so long is because I didn't want to lose to Hunter. Because, like, Hunter will do a 12-hour stream with just chain fishing just so he'll win the competition. Like, that's the first, that's the second person Hunter is. Three in a row on horses. What? You must maintain your lead, I know. At the rate we're going, we're going to find Shiny Horsey in no time. Is Shiny Hor- oh, question. Is Shiny Horsey worth two or three right now? Since it has a higher chance on this route. There we go, there's Clonster. That was my first Shiny, and honestly, usually I'm not a huge fan of, like, orange Shinies, but I don't know. Maybe it's because Clonster was the first Shiny I got in this game, but yeah. I don't even know how we got three horses in a row. Like, honestly. Maybe that's a good omen. No way. That's four horses out of five. Five and we've done five so far. We found it's probably the exact same horse. I'm pretty sure they've all been female. <laughs> Just keep fishing up the one. This this one horsey has a crush on me. That's how it is. It's seriously, they're just the exact same horse I'm telling you. Uh, my was Girder on Victory. 
Ooh. What shiny girder even look like? Hey, welcome to stream, Alola. Sorry, I didn't get to read your full name because I heard the the noise. Alola Spandam. Yeesh. Well, I know Victory Road. What does Shiny Girder look like? I just don't know. Oh. It's not very noticeable. Pretty similar. I probably would have missed it, honestly, if I wasn't paying attention. And the sad thing is, like, not sad, the scary thing is, for all I know, I failed a shiny before when I was, like, very young, before my cargo, and I just, like, didn't hear the game, like, you know? And I didn't notice the difference, because I was just young, and I wasn't being observant. Because, hell, I didn't even know what a shiny was until, like, a year after I caught my cargo. Well, not a year, but a few months after I caught my cargo. I never looked it up, because, you know, I was a kid, I was just like, alright, I have this Pokemon that has a weird thing come out. It's so weird, I still have that shiny Macargo. It's in Ultra Sun right now. Or it might be in Normal Sun, I don't know exactly, but... When I show you guys, I'll say this Pokemon came a long way. All the way from Platinum, or the Sinnoh region. Maybe I should have kept it in Platinum, I don't know. Since it could have always been in the same game. But, you know, at least I can have it forever. <laughs> I still need to get Slugma. I never got it. You'd think that I'd try to finish off the line. Technically... The Macargo line is the line I've spent the longest on and never completed, if you really think about it like that, since Macargo was the first shiny I ever got, so it's, realistically, it's been, oof, could be six years, over six years, definitely, I was not, like, ten. I don't know, it'll probably give me a date when I open it up when the Pokemon was caught. weird to think about. But yeah, Crystal, is Horsey worth two or three points? I'm just curious. Because I don't really plan on streaming too long. I don't plan on going anything longer than an hour, whether or not I find a shiny. Just because I'm a little out of it. Granted, I want to get the entire line of, like, Horsey, Cedra, and Kingdra. Horsey, Cedra, Kingdra. It kind of rolls off the tongue. It doesn't feel like it would. Three. Ooh. I could potentially get myself a lot of points today. Same system as Sharpedo. The only reason I ask is uh, Horsey is more common than Sharpedo. Sharpedo was 5%. Horsey is more than 5 and I was wondering, like, you know, if it's like 5%, is it like 3 points? And if it's like less than 5, then it's 2 and stuff, you know? And that's why I was just curious. gonna probably end up hunting Squirrel where I am right now when it comes to Pokemon uh, the, so the Shiny Lock in Pokemon Y. Originally I was gonna go for Magikarp, you know, get the Gyarados, but if you watched last stream, I found two Shiny Gyaradoses, and I evolved this Shiny Magikarp I got back in Let's Go, so now I have three Shiny Gyaradoses on top of all the ones I've had in the past. 
Bonuses become worth more as the week progresses. Rarity does not has nothing to do with it. Ah. Okay, that's cool. Magikarp's gonna s I'm not Magikarp. Feebass is gonna suck. Because like you're gonna have to find the exact tile. And that's gonna suck. But like, once you do, you pretty much guarantee yourself a V-Bass. Since it's really common if you find the right tile. So that's not fun. It's so hit or miss, you know? I think it resets if you break the chain as well. So like, it makes it even more intense. Hunter probably spent like all day. If he did end up saying what he was gonna do and he recorded his shiny hunts, he probably has like seven shinies right now. Cause he was gone all day. And his mom's, who just does the only reason he's not streaming because there's no Wi-Fi and he can't bring his setup. Not that there's no Wi-Fi, but he can't bring his computer. And even if he could, he wouldn't be able to stream with the high quality that he normally does. Hunter could have like twelve shinies right now. That's a big difference between Hunter and, like, many people, is he doesn't... Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but he doesn't do much. Like, I know he has got a job now, but before he had a job, like, he didn't do much. Except for just stream. Like, he has nothing that... Like, yeah, every now and then he has something to do, but it's rare. He's almost always around. So he gets these huge advantages in, like, races when you're... That's why I agreed with him if we ever do a race. As soon as one of us stop, the race ends. Cause like, he'll keep going. Alrighty, number 20. Man, this is where I found the first shiny as well. This game. Obviously I don't have it in this one. It's, I transferred up almost every shiny I have. And I just haven't transferred up the, po the shinies I got in this game. Since the start of the channel. Well, at least most of them. I'd... I like to usually fill up a box before I transfer all of them up, since... Well, it doesn't matter now, because, like, I used to friend safari hunt mostly, and would reset my friend safaris, because I have two 3DSs. One of them has Pokebank, the other one doesn't. And this is the one that has Pokebank, but it didn't have all my friend codes, so... They're reset, but I don't really mind, because I don't see myself friend safari hunting anytime soon, since... I know I... I know I'm going for Latios, Latios, Poipol, Amoras, and Deerling. Those are going to be really annoying hunts to do. So it's like, I'm not in like any big rush to do friend safari hunts. And all it really does is eliminate the third Pokemon, so... Maybe it's a blessing in disguise, you know? For all I know, there's a Pokemon that I want in the future, but instead of having a 33% chance of getting it off of... 50-50. Hey, welcome to the stream, Craft. Bring us the shiny luck. Get us a shiny horse to get us up to six points. No. That'd be epic. So, is... Chris, right? Then the other one's streaming? Is... Are they... Going for horsey as well, or am I just like... Cheesing the system here. And I like the only one going for the bonus. Yeah. Bring us the shiny luck crack. Also, later today, if you want to continue our little game from yesterday of Smash, then I'll be, uh... Who's winning? Currently, I am. I know there's, like, a... It's, I think there's a three-way tie for second right now, and that's... Hunter, Chris, and somebody else. I don't know exactly. I don't know everyone who's streamed so far. Since not everyone. Up to five. Well, first one, first one is three. Second one is two. Third is one. Yeah. Um, I'm shooting hunting for Vulpix right now. And let's go Eevee. Oh my god, you just reminded me. I need to hunt Vulpix too. I gave up after I found this shiny Dragonite. Like, me and Hunter, 
We're shiny racing for Vulpix. We both just found a shiny Dragonite. Like, seriously. We couldn't find Vulpix. Eventually, he did give, find Vulpix, and I just, like, wanted to jump off a chair. In case you, if any of you are curious why I'm so motivated to win this, I have the worst luck when it comes to races. In 2018, I lost nine races. You know how many I won? Zero. I literally lost. And yet the sad thing is, about four of the races that I lost, I had started before my opponent. Hunter beat me twice when I had the advantage. And Goodnight beat me once. He went for me and him were racing for Dewpider. I was 500 in on Dewpider. He found it in 20. I was like 300 in Sneasel. He found it in 120-ish. Like, I really, really do not have luck when it comes to racing. I did end up winning one race in 2019. And it's the only race I've done just because I don't want to break that record. Because I don't... I pretty much know as soon as I lose my first race, it's all going down. Like, I know it's, it's gonna go... And as soon as I get back to Let's Go Eevee hunting, you already know who's gonna ask me to hunt. Race them. Good night, you know. He's gonna be, like, eager. He's ready to start streaming on his channel. You know. I'm so screwed. Maybe that's why I chose the longest hunts for now. Just to stall. To delay the inedible. I'm one th one for ten in all competitions. One win in ten games, or one win, nine losses. So that's fun. Not really. The only races I've won are chain fishes, but I don't really count them as races. Just because I- they're so RNG. There's too many factors in it for it to be, like, a fun race. Because, like, you can just get it, like, I got Gyarados on seven fishes. You know, that on top of every other thing that's RNG just doesn't make chain fishing as much of a race as something you just do for fun if you want to just go for it, you know? So, uh, 31. Right. And he's been hunting. Oh, wow, I didn't even read your message, Crystal. Um, and he's been hunting in different area right now. We'll be hunting for a while, though. And we'll go for horsey later. Damn, good luck. Damn, I'm out of uh, Annoying. Let's have a race, me against you, and let's... Let's see if we get the shiny first. Um, I'm not entering any races right now, and I only enter races with people that are streaming. Just because a lot of people will be like, Oh, look, I found a shiny Gyarados. And then I'll be like, two seconds later, Oh, yeah, I found a shiny Lugia. And it's like, yeah... Sure you did. <laughs> That's why I usually like to race against streamers. Sometimes I do race against people, but I don't count them for actual wins. I know I beat Florendo a few times in like some races, but he wasn't streaming, so I don't count those. Cause like, there's no proof that he didn't find it, except for me just saying that I won, you know? And vice versa, there's no proof that the other opponent would win. For all they could just say they got a shiny, you know? Nothing against you, though. Plus, you know, we're in the middle of a seven-day competition. When is the shiny lock going to come out? I'm excited for just... For that, just th asking. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But, the odds are after this competition ends, I'll start it. Because the big issue is I need to shiny hunt. Like, I already, like, I don't care if you guys think it's cheap or not. I'm hunting for my starter in X. I don't have the shiny charm. So, yeah. I, I'm not <laughs> gonna spend, like, it's just too long for me to soft reset an X. Because, like, it's just not happening. I'll pick... Odds are I'm going to go for Fennekin, so I'm going to have the Masuda Method Fennekin and Pokemon X, so that's going to take me a while. But after that, it won't be too long. Since I only need a Shiny Hunt once for every 8 gems, you know, once after, once before, 
It's weird. It's either once before a gym or once after the gym. I don't remember which. I think it's before, since your starter's before. So, like, you know, after the first gym is over, you get to hunt something. And that way you have a team of eight before the eighth gym, assuming that no one dies, which someone probably will. So, yeah. My guess would probably be the first hunt will happen... the 24th of February, since that's the day after the competition ends. I'll probably maybe dual hunt Poipol and uh, Fennekin. There's also a few other things I need to get. I need to get a actual camera. I'm planning, I might be able to do it like I do my other things. If I get a camera, I might be able to just do like a mini USB into my computer or mini HDMI into my computer and have an overlay, of course, and, you know, do it in editing, put all the Pokemon I have and their names and stuff. Um, oof, I'm back before some people do it on every route. Yeah, the entire purpose of me doing the shiny lock is kind of to show people that you don't need to make the rules so easy. Limiting yourself to eight Pokemon shouldn't make it so the game, I find a lot of times that people bend the rules in Nuzlocke's, and it kind of upsets me, because, like, I try to make, the entire purpose, in my opinion, of a Nuzlocke is for it to be challenging, like, I'm not gonna be challenged if I go through a game, you know, just playing, normally. I mean, the first time, yeah, but not the second time. That's why I like to make challenges, like Nuzlocke's, not make, but do challenges. And I feel a lot of times when challenges get really hard, people bend the rules to make it easier for themselves. I'm not going to mention names, but there's somebody who always brags about winning Nuzlocke if he starts, but he changes it. He brings back Pokemon because he says people wanted them back. It doesn't matter. They die. He gives Pokemon extra lives. You know, he overlevels. It was an Ultra Moon. He, and he took on Necrozma with level 72s. Um, just so you know, Necrozma is, like, the only level 60 you'll see except for, like, the Champion and Elite Four. So he went through the, la the last trial, Victory Road, and the trainers on those routes with level 72s and probably had about level 80s for the Victory Road, not Victory Road, Elite Four. So, like, here, look at mine. I did a Shiny Luck with seven. You see, I'm proud of Hunter. Hunter showed perfectly... Exactly my entire point. You know, he was gonna- he started off with three lives on every Pokemon, then he hit it down to two. And then he only did seven Pokemon. Like, he didn't have seven Pokemon at the end. He caught seven Pokemon in total. Like, he did a really, really good job. He didn't shiny hunt in other games and trade it over. He showed exactly how the rules are fair enough. As they are. And he even made it harder for himself, because he made the rules harder. That's why I like doing challenging Nuzlocke's. I'm limiting myself to two lives on all Pokemon. I might give my starter three, just because it has to take down the first gym all by itself. But if it doesn't use its third life before the first gym, then I'm not going to give it a third life. I feel like that's a little bit fair. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I obviously have to see the Gen uh, 1. I forgot what the first Gen is in Gen 1. But if it's something, if it's like Grass or something, then I'm not giving myself 3 lives since I'll have a Fire type. But yeah, I'm very actually excited. I've never used Fennekin. And I love Shiny Fennekin. Alright, like, you guys don't even understand. I never really hunted it, just because I'm always like, you know, what if, I always said what if I want to do a series, like a shiny lock, and you know what, now's the perfect time, I like shiny Froakie a lot, don't get me wrong, but, you know, Fennekin, I've never used Fennekin before, I've used Froakie in 
the X and Y. I didn't complete Y. That's why I hard reset it. But yeah, it's bug type. Oh, that's easy. Finnegan can sweep that. I was thinking it's bug, and I was like, but is it though? I have to look at the um, all the gym leaders again. The only way I can map out which eight Pokemon I'd be going for. If I go for eight, of course. The thing is, like, I pretty much give myself 16 Pokemon with two lives each. So, yeah, and that's kind of one of the main reasons I want to have an overlay. That way you can all easily see how many lives each Pokemon has remaining. So, as long as I can get a good recording, a good quality camera, which I should, I believe I have one upstairs just lying around, which I was originally going to use for streams, but, you know... My computer was really, 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 really bad. Like, I got a new computer, if you guys didn't know, over the last few months. And that's why I didn't try to stream from my computer. Because the, the computer I had upstairs, which is where I was streaming for the very beginning up until the summer, was like a Windows 7 laptop that was made in like 2008. And the one I had downstairs, the fan was broken and it would overheat and shut down all the time. Bug Rock Fighting for the first three. I don't know when we get the Fishing Rod. But there might be a Fighting type somewhere around there that I could uh, get for the Rock Gym. Or a Ground or something, I don't know. And I, I honestly like all three starters from Gen uh, 6. But I only like Froakie when it evolves. Chestnut? Chestnut? Whatever the first evolution of that line is. I believe it's Chestnut, and then its final evolution is Chestnut. Has the worst final evolution starter of all Pokemon, in my opinion, from starters. Like, it is so bad. I don't know what, what they went for. And the thing is hideous. And honestly, I feel like that's such a shame, because Chespin is a really cute Pokemon. I honestly think most people keep Chespin as it is. Chespin. Its evolution is not so bad, it's kind of more of a... Goofy... Like... But you know what I mean. Fennekin's final evolution is just kind of a little off. It's Chespin. I don't know why I called it Chestnut. Even though I kept calling it Chespin. Sorry, I had a major brain fart for a second. I feel like Delphox just doesn't really fit Fennekin. I feel like Fennekin starts off too cute. You know what I mean? Like, it starts off as a little, little wolf. Fox. Wolf. I don't know why it's... What even... What do you know Fennekin? But, you know. And then when he evolves into the Delphox, it's a little off. Because his middle evolution still fits the cuteness. It's just final evolution just like... What? Just not the final evolution. So Chest Knight isn't even a Pokemon. Quilled. Quilded. I'm having a brain fart of Gen 6, honestly. Which is sad. I like Gen 6, but I never fully played through it a second time. Just because I was more busy when it came out. I didn't feel like I had time to repeat. Braxton, that's the mid evolution. It's still pretty good. I really don't like Delphox that much. Like, it feels, like, too realistic in the way it grew up, you know? Like, it keeps the exact same, like, face, but the facial structure changes. And, like, it's like, come on. I think it would have been better if it kept, they kept it more cute. Like, maybe it would have been, like, a, more like Brexen as the final evolution. And, uh, so there would be some different little middle evolution that would be similar. And, like, maybe it would be Fennekin, but, like, standing on two legs, kind of. You know what I mean? Like... Also, we haven't found a shiny yet. We are 48 in, and we haven't found a shiny. The drought from yesterday, I continued, I guess. 
So, yeah, it's it's not it's not been good. Not been good. Almost at fifty. Oof. Um, I will be right back. I was actually gonna hunt chess then if I found Deerling. <laughs> I like how I I like when I was originally gonna do the um Sinister Shiny Hunting Festival, which was the, you know late September to Halloween hunts. I was like so motivated. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get a Deerling, because it's a perfect Pokemon that transition through seasonings. But I'm like, wait, the only way to hunt it is to, you know, Masuda, I was like, you know what? This is it. This is gonna break my chain of bad luck. It didn't. And for whatever reason, I thought not only was I gonna be lucky enough to get it, I was gonna get a chest spin as well. No. I got to 550 and didn't find it. And I was like, Chief, what happened? Gotta go for gone good luck. Hey, thank you, Hunter. And uh, if you're streaming tomorrow, uh, Best of luck, I guess, as well. I'll probably be home all day. Maybe not as much in the afternoon as in the morning. When I say afternoon. I mean, like, this time tomorrow. Which is actually night, not afternoon. I guess, technically, it is afternoon. Because it's not noon. Alright, I'll stop. My jokes are cringy. Cringier than Rewind was. Also, I have this un immense, unbelievably strong urge to Poke Radar. I do not know why. Like, I don't even know what I'd Poke Radar, you know? But I want to Poke Radar. Now, I think I found this shiny uh, Clauncher in like 27 when I first got it. I have no way of knowing. I kept it track on a, on a Google, not Google, a Microsoft Word document. So like, honestly, if I even saved that and it's still around, that would be like unbelievably advanced for Microsoft. Just because, like, Microsoft only saves onto the computer and doesn't autosave. Like, I don't get why still people use, like, the Microsoft ones. Like, yeah, I guess it's a little bit for more formal things because it's a little bit more, like, professional, a lot less, like, I want to say cartoony, but, like, there's a few more features that are more professional. But in general, like, docs and slides are so much easier to use since... Multiple people can work on it once at any device as long as they send it to their account because it's all on the cloud. And instead of having to use a USB and only be able to do it on a computer, you know? Yeah, there's like the offline part, which is like annoying if you're working with people because it might not save your work. But like if you're working by, like if you, if you are working with people but no one's on and you don't have Wi-Fi, it's fine. Oh no! No no! They found the shiny horsey! <laughs> e. No, that's not good. That's not good. Are they like a live stream or are they one of the people that are entering the competition via video? You didn't? I assumed you did. Remember the new policy I set up? If Kraft doesn't talk for four minutes, I just assumed he died. He probably, like, fell off a chair. 
crap, you went silent for like 24 or 26 minutes. You just didn't leave, you were just here the whole time, just not chatting. What happened to not lurking? Same, I'm still here. Well, that's different. I know you lurk, Godzilla. Craft's always like, I never lurk. And he's been lurking for 26 minutes. Boy. I did leave. Oh. But you just said I never left. I'm a ninja. That is true. You've probably been in a stream for like an hour without even me noticing. Probably been lurking. I'm just joking. Oh. Oh, okay. Things are getting intense. We're almost at 60 without a shiny. I'm lurking in the, in the buses. Bushes. Just on the school bus, you know. You ever wonder what happens to the school buses after the school day? Like, what if a kid just, you know, like, s you know, stayed on the bus without the bus driver knowing, you know? Just camp camping on the school bus vlog. Honestly, I got so used to the shiny Clauncher that every single time I see Clauncher, I'm like, ooh, shiny. But I know it's it's not. It's just not how it is. I think it partly has to do with the fact that I associate it with a crab, and crabs are orange. So when I don't see an orange crab, I'm like, excuse me? It might even be a lobster. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's a lobster because of the giant pincher and the small one. Or is that a crab? I, I forgot. Which one's which? Crabs and lobsters are like alligators and crocodiles. How do you tell the difference? Why are they why are they so similar? I'm actually now I say that I'm pretty sure crabs and lobsters are very much not similar. It's like squids and octopuses. Like yeah, I guess at first glance they're kind of alike, but they're like really nothing in common. Which one has the giant pincher? Frick. Cause I'm thinking crabs, cause like Kingler, right? Kingler's got the ginormous claw. But like, doesn't Crawdon have the exact same thing? Does the bus driver take? <laughs> Does the bus driver take the bus home? Like just in his, it's just in his parking lot, not parking lot, his driveway there's just a giant school bus hello I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a lobster cuz uh, now that I think about it I don't think crabs have tails pretty sure lobsters do <laughs> cuz lobsters are Oh jeez, this is a lobster, not a crab. This is this looks a lot more like corefish. Oh my god. Why are we 65 in? All we need is that shiny horse seat and we're at six points. Six points. We're so close. We're so close. It's just, uh, we're close yet so far, and it's so in, uh. Oh boy, those are ones I'm not good at. I know I am good at it, just like, they're fast, really quick. Crabs like money, and lobsters like to work out in the gym. I see what you did there. I see what you did. 
Larry the Lobster. You know what? Just because of that, if I get a male clauncher, I'm calling it Larry. Shiny male clauncher, I'm calling Larry. It's Larry the Lobster! There aren't any seahorses in SpongeBob, are there? That's weird. Why are there no seahorses? Actually, I think there are. Wasn't there, like... Frick, I don't remember. I haven't watched Spongebob in years. Larry is the Chad of the Spongebob characters. Like, he's such a Chad. Number seven day. We've done fifty so far. We're halfway. It's weird to think about by fifty encounters you have a fifty percent chance of finding the shiny. I've officially made it so I was i I'm more likely to have found the shiny at this point because it's 51 and 70 actually it's kind of wonky because it's there's still a chance to find the shiny between 1 and 20 so like technically i was past that point already technically you're supposed to have found the shiny most likely before like 118 not 120, since the, all the ones and eventually I feel like we back up to at least 1%, because one of them is like point nine point zero zero nine, 0.009 which is almost the same what seahorse on Spongebob crabs keeps telling him to go wait crabs keep telling him to let her go Oh. I don't know, I was saying, was there a seahorse in Spongebob? I don't know if there was or not. I mean, I don't blame them for not making it. I mean, if you're gonna draw a seahorse, you gotta make it a significant character. Like, what's the point of making it insignificant if you're gonna put that much detail? Alright then, 74. Jeez, I have not been this unlucky with chain fishing. Maybe it's because I've been chain fishing way more than I used to, but I always felt like I'd found the shiny in chain fishing before 40. Alright then, 75. Name the horsey that XX. Oh, Mystery. Who's Mystery? Like, I really don't know who Mystery the Seahorse is. I'm sorry. Like, I don't even know. Like, what is that from? Oh! Oh, I remember now! Oh my god, that was so like. Yes, we're naming it after that. Yes. I 100% agree. If we find Shiny Horsey, it's gonna be named Mystery. That's epic.
So we got Larry if it's a male clauncher and Misery if it's a horsey. What gender was uh Mystery? We don't know, that's fine, I'll just name it whatever. Doesn't Larry have a mom in the school uh, in the SpongeBob? Isn't that like a canon thing? Am I just like off? Larry the oh. freak late Larry Lobster Mom. No, we haven't seen Larry the Lobster's mom. Female. Alright, so it has to be a female horsey. Mystery, I put it above. Trust, I got you. If it's a horsey, Jigglypuff went mining. Oh. Okay, then. Mystery the seahorse. Don't know what you mean by Jigglypuff went mining, but welcome to the stream. Done 60. We're at 80 in total, but 60 with the 1 in 100 odds. I know it's 1 in 100, so I can't complain until I get to like 110. But still, you always find them at like 20, 30 ish. It's like, yay. And I guess this makes it less easy to find shinies. Spirit in Smash Bros. There's no. Jigglypuff's a Pokemon, it doesn't mind. <laughs> I'm confused. I have a strong feeling I'm going to break the chain soon, just because of my own idiotic- like, I'm just going to do something dumb and to break the chain. What's with this drought? Jeez. I know, right? That was 66 right there. It's so quiet at house. It's creeping me out. Mm, yeah. I know what you mean. Like, it gets really creepy. Like, especially when you gotta go to the basement at night time. Like, I don't have one of those nice basements that you can just flick on the light and it's all, like, you know, nice carpeted floor or anything. No. My basement is creepy. It's, like, stone. It's, like, pitch black even after you turn the light because you've gotta go downstairs to turn on the rest of the lights. And the light that you do turn on is nowhere near where you're gonna be. 
My longest chain fish was 152. Dang. It's like, it's so, like, I don't like going in the basement. Like, I know there's nothing down there, but, like, 9 o'clock at night, I, my brain goes from being logical to being primitive and being like, there could be a wolf in there. Like, it's not gonna happen, but my brain switches over to, let's not die mode. Opposed to, like, yeah, I know I'm not gonna die mode. It's like one of those weird things. That's like one of the main reason most, a lot of people are afraid of the dark is because they have those, the normal human senses when we used to live in a position where there literally could be a wolf 14 feet from me. Is it likely nowadays? No. Is it gonna happen in your basement? Probably not. But, you know, we're only human. Number 90. that was a sea king it barely changes it that's true sea king doesn't make a big change i mean i was happy to get my sea king since i didn't have one yet but nonetheless i think we've had one chain this entire stream now we're at 92 One of these encounters is going to be shiny. I'm going to lose it. I don't have a shiny for a or fun shot on the uh, reactions. Or part of my my living decks I had to restart. I had like probably 200 shinies. But of the living decks, only 60 of them count. It's a little bit more. It's probably like closer to 70. Since I have the few, like Dialga, which I'm counting... You didn't get my live reaction, but I... I recorded me catching it. That's, that's what all that counts in the end. Well, I got two pings in Discord. That's scary. I will check that. Now. Oh. You should see my grandpa's basement. It has old two cobs, cobwebs in the hole, which is what and well, I don't know. It's like a horror scene. Oh god. Like my grandparents' basement isn't so bad. Well, one of my grandparents' basements. I'll explain the other one in a moment. But my grandparents' basement that I go to what do you mean no? My grandparents' basement that uh I, you know, the grandparent I go to the most is not so bad. You know, it's like I said, carpeted, the light that you turn on pretty much turns on the entirety of the lights downstairs, so it's not so bad. The other one, oh god, I've never been down there. I have, I granted, I haven't been to that house much. They don't live in the United States, so. The one time I was going to go into their basement, there was freaking bugs on the stairs, like dead bugs, and they weren't small ones. They were big. Like, I was, like, traumatized. I didn't want to go into the basement. We didn't end up going. But, you know, it was... It was... You ate the last chicken nugget. No, I didn't. That was Billy. Billy ate the last chicken nugget. Oh my god, I thought I missed the A button. I thought I hit the B button for a second. That's scary, like, when you're not actually looking. And then you you think you didn't hit the button because it doesn't reel in straight away. It's like horrifying. Really wise. 
97. Oh my god, this drought. We're about to make a chain of 100. Probably gonna be my longest chain to date. Number 98. Longest chain without a shiny. Well, longest chain in general, but longest chain without a shiny as well. Number 99. Burger King Foot Lovers. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone else's, isn't it? Oh. No. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King lettuce is someone else's foot fungus. But turns out, that might just be what you get. A 4chan user, and I don't know any more of that. And here we go. Number 100. Centenado. I believe in some language. I don't know. I'm not fluent in other languages. Okay, I was about to get really pissed. Someone called me right as I did that chain fish. And if it was shiny, I wouldn't give any credit for that. So, yeah. So, I have a right to be, like, on edge. That's, like, the most worst part about streaming from my phone, is that that can happen. Like, what if someone calls me right as I find a shiny? What if they call me again? You know? My mom, when she used to live in my grandpa's house. Oh my god, that was just. Why did this shiny appear when I'm not looking? Shiny concert, though. Let's go. Hashtag. Let's get some shiny hype in the chat. Did. Did my audio unsync? Hold up. I think my audio unsynced. I wanted to look at my reaction. And I think my audio desynced. It might have been my stream though. I just want to make sure it didn't desync, is it? Yeah, my audio desynced. I'm gonna have to fix that on the reaction. Since there's only one audio, it's not so bad. I'll just have to find it. But I'm gonna end off the stream and restart it. That way the audio can be synced again, because... Yeah. It was a female, though, so we'll just call you... I don't know. I don't know what to call you. I'll, re I'll name you something later. I'm more focused on refixing my stream. Alrighty then, we should be back now. Hopefully the audio is back. Can we get back to back? Shinies. No. I hope the audio is synced up properly now. Infamous two and three. No, we get two. We've got two shinies and three encounters multiple times. But uh, yeah, we got this shiny monster, so we're back on top with four points. Let's go. Can we get Horsey to wrap it all up? Uh, if my chain breaks at any point, that'll end off my stream. Just cause 
that's just about the last I'm really caring to do. Name it Larry the Lobster, but it's female. Larry isn't a girl. Larry's a dude. I'm pretty tired as it is, and I don't want to give myself a huge advantage because, as far as I can, as far as I can tell, <coughs> I'm the only person who hunted both days. So I don't want to have a huge advantage because then what's the fun of the competition if I just hunt every single day for like three hours, you know? The 21 hours of hunting, I'm pretty much bound to win. But yeah, hash, we got some, we got the shiny, which is hype. Anyways, let's, let's read what Black Dragon was actually saying. Before, not Black Dragon, Godzilla was, before I was so rudely interrupted by an amazing shiny. My mom, when she used to live in my grandpa's house, she would put in the basement and my grandpa was outside on the upper floor above. Oh. Have you seen the Kirby and JV Puff fan fiction? No, but like, I can probably imagine what it was. You were in the lead again. I know. We're getting the W. Let's get some hype in the chat for the first place forgotten. Is winning like the first competition of anything. It's like the second time I'm winning something, <laughs> and it's only so far. Like I bet you, like Professor West is gonna, just gonna show up on the last day and find like 18 shinies, and now it'll just be that. Like seriously, it, it's just gonna be like that. Also, is anyone else streaming right now? The uh, chain fishing competition, or just me? Am I the last person standing? Or is Crystal streaming? Because Chris was streaming earlier, right? Chris is still streaming. Awesome. Uh, has Chris got any luck? Or has it been a pretty bland stream? I'm afraid though, like, Chris isn't even hunting for shining freaking horse. See, like, Chris is gonna come and probably find like two and my first place for him. I'm trying my best to win. I'm trying my best. Ah, nope. Oof. Horsey, I just I just need you to be shiny, that's all that's all, you know? Just be shiny. Be shiny so I can get the three points and go from s what am I even on now? Four? Four to seven. Jeez, if I have seven points by the end of today's stream. Uh the epic. Wishes, wishes you congrats. A. Hey, we'll tell Chris I wish him good luck on his hunts as well. And tell him thank you. I mean, I could do that myself, but like, I'm trying to move along since I'm pretty tired and like, I might want to go to bed in like an hour from now. Like, I'm just. Like, I'm definitely not going to be shooting for two hours. Like, I could see myself maybe shooting for like another half an hour at best. Since like that's gonna be like forty encounters. How long have I been going in total? Yeah, about an hour. If I find Shiny Horsey, I might give it like ten more. Just cause like the chain won't be broken, but like you know, Horsey's a lot of points. But yeah, we're doing pretty good, I'd say. A 
114. Honestly, I wouldn't mind another Conjure, by the way, since I don't have the its evolution. I mean, I do, but not for the Loving Dex. And honestly, Loving Dex matters the most. Now, I don't care if I have it. I don't care if I've got six of them. If it's not on my Loving Dex, it does not count. I mean, it counts in my heart, but like, not on the Dex. <laughs> I kind of like forget what shiny horsey looks like. I know it's a darker blue, like more of a cyan blue. But like, does its eyes change as well? Because like, as soon as I see it, I know it's shiny. But I, you know, is there gonna be any other thing? Cause I haven't seen shiny horsey since I made the thumbnail. It's just over an hour ago. You know what? I need a shiny uh, horsey for an example. One of you guys is gonna come out of hiding so I can know what a shiny horsey looks like. But yeah, even if the chain breaks, I mean, even no matter how far we're going in, if the chain breaks, it breaks, and I'll call it a stream. You know what I mean? Would be 118. I'm kind of like, I don't know how to feel. Like, I definitely want another shiny, but like, I feel like if I get shiny horsey, it not will guarantee my victory, but it will push me so much farther since I got three shinies yesterday, one today. I'm already at four points. To be at seven at the end of day two would just be immensely helpful. And it would push me like Hunter, I think second place is tied for two points. Or no, second place is three points because um, someone tied me at some point. You know? To be like that far in front of third and second, it's just like, it means I have a big lead, I don't know, I never really win, I always get like third or something. Say, why do you want me to check my map? Ah, oh, jeez, that was my ankle. You heard that just crack there? <laughs> my ankles rarely crack unless it's been a long day. Oh, well, that's the end of that. We'll go for one more for the memes. Can we get the one in four thousand shiny? You got a 1 in 4,000 shiny right now? Mood? No. Alrighty. Well, I will guess I'll hunt horsey some other time. Maybe some other day. I know it won't give me the bonus points, but you know, still want a shiny horsey. Uh, thank you all for watching. And, uh, yeah, let's go back and, uh, check up on my- Oh, that's right, I don't have a repel on. Hey, Wilmer. Honestly, I don't know what Psychopath is currently skating with roller skates upstairs, on stairs, and through sand. Like, that's how you know there's some sort of serial killer if they're doing that. Wait, 
think you can move like this, right? Yeah. Like, who moves like that? Nobody. Let's check up on Larry. Not Larry. So yeah, we got... Look at her. Look at us. I'll probably call it, like, Larina or something. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, it's been a pleasure entering day two. I mean, we were live for about an hour and ten minutes. We found a shiny. It's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but hey, at least we found a shiny. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye. Oh, wait. There might be a chance I go for Poipal. If I don't fall asleep and I'm not tired in like an hour and a half, I might do like a hundred on Poipal, but it's not likely. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye.